Bradwell Smart Glass Emergency Protocol. Do not take off the smart glasses. Scanning for internal injuries. Please remain as still as possible. No internal bleeding detected. No fractures detected. No open wounds detected. Larynx damage from smoke inhalation detected. Speech will not be possible. Please do not attempt to speak. Movement assessment protocol activated. Please move forward to get up. Thank you. Please look around. Thank you. Please move to the designated point. Thank you. Please move quickly to the designated point. Thank you. Please crouch down and move to the designated point. Thank you, and apologies for any loss of dignity. Movement assessment complete. Probability of survival, high. Please proceed immediately to the main entrance. Main entrance locked down. We apologize for any inconvenience. Attempting to establish network communication with emergency services. Connection failed. Broadcasting emergency distress signal on alternative channels. Please proceed to emergency exit 2 in the north wing stairwell. Scanning radio frequencies. We're coming live from the Bradwell Stonehenge Museum, where the situation appears to be escalating. As I speak, we're being pushed farther back by emergency service workers. Indeed, tonight's public celebration for Bradwell's Clean Water Initiative milestone has turned into a public crisis. An explosion occurred at 7.45 p.m. Back fully evacuated with no major injuries or fatalities. But with so many VIPs in attendance tonight, there is already speculation about terrorist involvement, especially given the Bradwell's history. Almost 11 years ago, three members of the Bradwell family were killed at the British consulate in Belgium in 2015. Responsibility was claimed by the En Masse movement, a left-wing militant group with the stated goal of bringing down the 1%. Attempting to access door controls. Please wait. Accessing door controls failed. Door offline. Please proceed to emergency exit 3 in Museum South Wing. Emergency exit 3 is directly opposite your current location. Please proceed there immediately.
Guide detected. Establishing connection. Connection established. Finally! The suspense nearly killed me. You okay? Visitor is unable to answer due to damaged vocal cords from smoke inhalation. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll talk. You listen, and maybe we'll both get out of here alive. I think I found our way out. Just gotta open this. Problem is, the door controls on my side aren't responding. Are yours working? Oh, right. You can't talk with the whole vocal fry thing. Wait! Your guide can take photos. Those can be, like, your voice. Guide established permanent photo connection. Photo connection established. Launching tutorial. It's... it's just pressing a button we don't need... Welcome to the photo tutorial. Your personal Bradwell guide glasses come with an exciting photo mode. Are you kidding me? Capture and share your favorite moments here at the Bradwell Stonehenge Museum. We really don't need a tutorial. Get ready to make memories. Here's how. Press the photo button now to take and share a photo. What a great eye. You are a natural. As long as you are connected to the guide network, your photos will be instantly sent to connected friends and family. Snap and share. Okay, get that great eye on the door controls. Shoot! Your door controls aren't online either. Guide, is there any way to get the power back on? I suggest requesting a member of the museum staff to investigate the relevant distribution board. Great. Up to us then. Okay, let's find that board and get the heck out of here before this whole place drops on us. Go look around and send me photos if you find anything or get stuck. You're looking at posters at a time like this? Sorry, don't think I can be of help. Multiple choice? Um, open them all up, I guess. Just look inside them. Okay, so start flipping switches till the lights turn green. Excellent work. Everything just lit up like a cheap bar on St. Patrick's Day. Hurry back so I can see what's up with the panel. Yeah, it's doing the same here. Lock panels are unpaired. Emergency access to pairing protocol granted. Pairing is achieved by comparing patterns and identifying the contrasting element. Three rounds must be completed to sync the locks. What is this, a frickin' game show? <sighs> Fine, let's pair the heck out of these things. First pattern, here you go. You have to press the one button that's not lit up in either pattern. Okay, nice. Second pattern coming up. Just one more and we're out of here. What's going...
Warning, this is a restricted area of Bradwell Amesbury Research and Development. Security will arrive shortly to escort you to a secure area. Wait. No. Oh, no, no, no! I cannot be back down here. Welcome back, Dr. Randall. A trespasser has been detected in the courtyard area. Proceed with caution. Well, you're alive, that's good, but we really, really have to get out of here right now. Um, there's a... There's a train station in the atrium close to you. Go there and ping me. I'll meet up with you as soon as I can. I crashed into some offices, so gotta find a way down first. Yeah, right now I really wish we were on that train. That's not the trains. Hang on. These are the train platforms? But there's no trains. Any info on why? Guide, any other ways out of here? I cannot search for alternative exits as I'm unable to connect to the building control system. However, according to standard evacuation procedures, most exits will have been sealed by now. Ugh, I guess we have to keep looking. There must be another way to get out of here. Unsure how this is going to help. Oh, look! The medical evac system is still online. Not that you'd know what that is. It's meant for injured employees, but I think we qualify. We just need to get to medical. Wait, the elevators. Can you see if there's anything on the status of the elevators? I mean, lifts? Are they working? Hmm, lifts are locked. Guide, what does that mean? Standard evacuation procedures dictate that once main evacuation has been completed, lifts are sent to secure positions and taken offline. Lifts can then only be unlocked from the main lift engine room. Okay, judging by the map, that's very close to where I am right now, so I'll check it out. Except you won't be able to use them since you only have a museum guide. Oh, I have an idea! We're going to upgrade you from a trespasser to a bona fide Bradwell Amesbury employee. Kinda. On the map, see Induction Reception? Head there, then ping me. Well, it could be worse. Life support stable sounds good to me. Oh, the screen's in the back. What do they say? Cool. You found the induction reception. Good. See the vending machine? It's full of staff guides coded to new hires. We need to unlock one of these so you can take the Bradwell induction experience and become a Bradwell employee. You should then be able to use the elevators. But to make that happen, I need a Bradwell ID for someone who's supposed to start today or tomorrow. So take a look around and send over anything with an ID. Sorry, still nothing we can use. Are there more pages?
Sweet. Let me try this ID just one sec. Employee ID confirmed. Dr. Alex Sager, Clean Water and Energy Research. Huh, okay. Unfortunately, not a medical profile, but... Well, it'll have to do for now. Go pick it up! Welcome, Dr. Sager, to Bradwell Amesbury. Today is the first day of our new and exciting future, together. Please wait while we prepare the compulsory Bradwell New Employee Induction. Okay, I'm gonna go get the elevators out of lockdown. But don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you. So, good luck. And, um, you're gonna be fine. Experience prepared. Dr. Sager, please enter to start your new journey. I hope you like cheese. What you're about to see is... Hello, and welcome to the Breadwell Research and Development's new employee induction. At Breadwell, the difference is you. Pat yourself on the back. You are the best of the very best in your field. Oh, God, it's worse than I remembered. This, the R&D Amesbury, is Breadwell's newest facility. Your work here is classified and vital. Finding solutions to many modern-day issues for both Bradwell Electronics and the Bradwell Foundation. If the world needs it, we can make it happen here. Research and development is headed by Melissa Bradwell, daughter of John Bradwell, founder of Bradwell Electronics. Both father and daughter have worked tirelessly to effect positive change through technology. As an engineer here at Bradwell R&D Amesbury, your work will focus on a newly discovered revolutionary material. Bradwellium, more simply known as substance, is the next advancement in material sciences. Programmable matter. Bradwellium has already been fundamental in the development of a game-changing piece of technology. Oh, this is my... The Substance Mobile Printer, a device which allows for the instant fabrication of objects. Yes, matter transfiguration, no longer a thing of science fiction. The SMP uses substance to print any type of objects from digital blueprints created by engineers like yourself. We've put together a short, practical application test to give you first-hand experience with this revolutionary device and its applications. No turning back now. Time to leap into the weird world of material sciences. I'm gonna go unlock these elevators. For real this time. Exit to your right and proceed to the testing area. For the creators of tomorrow, Bradwell presents the Substance Mobile Printer, or SMP for short. This is the latest prototype featuring the substance printing technology. Please take the SMP. Let's learn how we reclaim an item made of substance and then print an identical copy into a new place. This is the gateway to your potential, and this is the key of determination. As the first step, please reclaim the key using the SMP. The reclaiming procedure recycles the substance material and stores a digital blueprint of the item in your SMP library. As long as there is enough substance in the SMP, you can print as many copies as you like. In order to print, you need to activate the SMP printing mode. The preview's traffic light color scheme indicates if the SMP is able to print the item or not, or if more substance is required. Now, stay in printing mode, point the SMP to the keyhole in the gate, and move towards it. As you can see, the SMP's advanced algorithms will suggest valid printing positions. Press the print button to print the key into the lock. Congratulations, you have unlocked the gateway to your potential. Please go to the next section. Welcome to Cats or Dogs. Bradwell's fun and in no way judgmental personality test asks you kindly to print a total of six cats or dogs on the colored platform areas. We need at least one of each animal printed for our patented bias weighting, so pick and print. Shelly the cat and Troy the dog will do the rest. 
This is refined Bradwellium, or substance brick, ready to be reclaimed by the SMP. No blueprints from one of these, sadly. For security and copyright reasons, some substance items have their blueprints locked. Your guide interface will let you know if a substance item is locked. The SMP is able to store multiple blueprints. Change the active blueprint with the Change Blueprint button. Your SMP can print onto most flat surfaces. For your well-being, the SMP decides if it is safe to print an object in a... Great progress! Only three more to print. Well done for completing the Bradwell personality test. Go you! Want to know what's in your mind? Check out the screen nearby for the results of your personality test. Good luck on the next section. Troy gave an encouraging bark, and Shelley was, well, you know what cats are like. When you're ready, please go to the next section. Welcome to the rotation station, where things often go sideways. For this test, you simply need to recreate the pattern from the right panel. Where is the blueprint, I hear you ask? Bradwell R&D proudly presents the Blueprint Drive for securely storing blueprints. Collect the drive to add the blueprint to your SMP. Well done. Now recreate the pattern on the wall to complete the test. To rotate the item, press the rotation button. Once you're happy with the rotation, press the print button to print. If you have trouble remembering what to do, maybe this rhyme will help. Well done! You have near-perfect rotational problem-solving skills. Near-perfect rotational problem-solving skills. Feel free to quote that on your favorite dating app. Welcome to the most important part of our induction experience. Bradwell R&D's Lifetime Unilateral Non-Disclosure Agreement. Use your SMP to create the circle of trust. By doing so, you agree to the Bradwell Non-Disclosure Agreement. Once the circle of trust has been established, the door to the path of knowledge and discovery will open itself to you. Warning. Irregularities in the NDA section detected. The use of the SMP is not recommended. Irregularities? Um, that doesn't sound good. If you're stuck, I'm here, just one photo click away. Oh, that's not good. The trust circle's half buried. The system's not gonna let you go ahead without doing that step. What else is around there? Sorry, don't think I can be of help. The door to the next section will only open if you agree to the Bradwell non-disclosure agreement. Bradwell's NDA is Literally, the writing on the wall. Am I missing something? I don't get it. Okay, I have to find a way to override D14 without you doing all the circle stuff. D14. D14. Where are you, D14? Induction control program. That's what we need. Is this taking a long time? Maybe it just feels that way, but... Oh, here it is. Ta-da! I have near-perfect door opening skills. Now, does that go in pros or cons on a dating profile? All right, back to these elevators for me. If you need me again for that door, just holler. Welcome to the Archive, where you'll find Bradwell's work and patents over the course of its 60-year history. Please, enjoy. The induction will continue through the next door. Boxes. So many boxes. Neat, all this history. In my family, we had pretty much every single Bradwell consumer product ever, including the singing toaster. Yeah, I know. Please proceed to the next area.
There must be a nice place for the TV to retire. In an old people home. Welcome to the penultimate challenge. How do you feel? Sick of your voice. Fantastic! For your next test, we have everyone's childhood favorite. The floor is lava. To cross, you will need to reclaim the specially designed traversal block. Spoilers, it's a plank. As you can see, the traversal block, like all substance objects, has incredible properties which may defy your understanding of physics. Please reclaim the traversal blocks. Well done. Now use the traversal blocks to cross over to the other side. Oh, and remember, you can rotate substance objects with the SMP. I mean, I'm not trying to say you forgot, I just... Anyway, good luck crossing the lava. Oh, no! If this were real lava, you would have died a horrible death. But thanks to Bradwell patented lava tile screens, you can fail as much as you like. Another successful crossing. Marvellous. You are so close. Falling into the lava now would be such a huge disappointment. Troy and Shelley think so too. Lavaly job. Well done. You are now safe. Unbelavable. Yeah. Bradwell Electronics has had an exciting and, other than a brief period after the singing toaster incident, noble past. Every Bradwell employee should know and take pride in Bradwell's history. Your final task is to connect to the past in order to step into the future. Everyone knows about Bradwell Electronics, but sometimes we do get applicants who lie about their knowledge of Bradwell products. Not you, right? Hey, the SMP's rotation functionality could be super useful in this section. You know, just throwing it out there. Fun fact, Bradwell's history is such common knowledge that no search engine bothers storing it. <laughs> Don't worry if you're stuck, we have all the time in the world. Food supplies, however, are limited. Shelley and Troy believe in you. Eh, for now. Well done. Onwards to the final room. Congratulations, Dr. Sega, and welcome to the Breadwell family. Some employees found that the cat chose them and not the other way around. Either way, congratulations. You've shown that you have the knowledge, the skills, and most importantly, the loyalty to contribute to Breadwell R&D and help secure the world's future. Now, head to clean water and energy research via the lifts in the security office. Your Bradwell buddy, Dr. Chowdhury, will meet you in her office to complete your induction experience. Please note, exit door is inaccessible due to unforeseen circumstances. Guess we'll have to find you a detour.
I'm going to write a children's book about this escapade when I retire from my career in tech. I'll reimagine you as a penguin, though. No offense, but you always need an animal in a children's book.